हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर ए एस मोची डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल एंटोमोलॉजी के के वा कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर नासिक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द इंसेक्ट इकोलॉजी एंड देयर कंसेप्ट्स ओके बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आवर चैप्टर I would like to tell you some things about this video. Uh, this information is only for educational purpose and not for commercial. Okay, so let us start. Let us start our topic. Insect ecology. Uh, generally, uh, if you see the history of insect ecology, the term ecology. Firstly, coined by the German biologist, the name is Ernst Haeckel in 1869, and he also gave the universally accepted definition of the insect ecology. Okay, then if you uh, see the word of ecology, the term uh, we can say that the word of ecology it is a one of the uh, Greek word and this word consists of a two sub words the first one is a oikos and second one is a logos oikos means house or place to live it means that the organism where the live or the, that the place that live that word is called as oikos and the logos it means that it is the science or it is the study it means that simply what is mean by ecology ecology is simply it is the science which deals with the study of the house or the place to live the of that particular organism okay uh, but thus literally ecology is the study of earth households comprising of the plants animals microorganisms and the people that live together as a interdependent components it means general it is the meaning of the insect ecology then uh, these are this uh, some of the scientists which regarding the insect ecology or simply ecology the first one is a uh, av humboldt uh, it is nothing but the he was a referred uh, was a father of ecology then ep wodum uh, father of modern ecology then ramdev misra it is a indian scientist he hence uh, he is also referred as a father of indian ecology then arthur tansley he gave the first time the term ecosystem and the ecosystem is nothing but the one of the major concept in the ecology okay then uh, this is the simply flow diagram uh, which uh, gives the concept of the insect ecology if you see the definition of insect ecology uh, the ecology is the study of the relationship between the living organism and between the organism and their environment simply what is the ecology ecology simply relationship between the organism and their environment which then now the concept is which things is including organism and which things is including environment let us see one by one uh, the first one the organism consists of a population what is population a group of organism of the same species living in the same area at the same time called as a population same species living in the same area okay what is species a species is nothing but the one of the group of organism that can be interbred to produce a fertile offspring okay then if you see the environment the environment consists of a ecosystem different types of ecosystem found in case of environment simply what is ecosystem ecosystem it is a community and it's a biotic environment or non living environment the now the concept is what is community the community is a group of population living and interacting with each other in an area the now the concept is each which in which area the area what is area the area is called as habitat habitat means simply the environment in which a species normally lives that place is called as a habitat it means that all the concept population community ecosystem habitat species are interlocked or interconnected between the uh, ecology simply okay then uh, if you see the levels of organization in the universe the insect ecology consist of a biosphere biomass ecosystem communities populations and organism 
आर दी सिक्स कंसेप्ट इज इंक्लूड इन द इकोलॉजी और सिंपली इंसेक्ट इकोलॉजी ओके देन दीज आर दी सम ऑफ द टर्मिनोलॉजी रिलेटेड टू द इंसेक्ट इकोलॉजी और सिंपली इकोलॉजी लेट अस सी वन बाय वन इन दैट द फर्स्ट वन इज द इंसेक्ट इकोलॉजी सिंपली द इंसेक्ट इकोलॉजी साइंस विच डील्स विद द स्टडी ऑफ रिलेशनशिप ऑफ इंसेक्ट टू देयर इन्वायरमेंट देन देर आर द टू सब ब्रांचेस ऑटो इकोलॉजी एंड सीन इकोलॉजी द स्टडी ऑफ इंडिविजुअल ऑर्गेनिजम इट्स बिहेवियर एंड इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द इन्वायरमेंट ऑन इट्स लाइफ साइकिल कॉर्ड एज ऑटो इकोलॉजी मीन्स इंडिविजुअल ऑर्गेनिजम्स स्टडी इन ऑटो इकोलॉजी देन द ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम विच आर फाउंड एज अ यूनाइट कॉल्ड एज अ कम्युनिटी इकोलॉजी हेन्स नोन एज ए सीन इकोलॉजी देन हैबिटेट इकोलॉजी स्टडी ऑफ हैबिटेट एंड इट्स इफेक्ट ऑन द ऑर्गेनिजम्स देन इथोलॉजी स्टडी ऑफ बिहेवियर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम अंडर द नेचुरल कंडीशंस देन हैबिटेट्स इट इज द प्लेस वेयर द ऑर्गेनिजम लाइव्स देन पॉपुलेशन डिनोट द ग्रुप ऑफ इंडिविजुअल ऑफ एनी काइंड्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स देन कम्युनिटी इन द इकोलॉजिकल सेंस इंक्लूड ऑल द पॉपुलेशन ऑन इन गिवन एरिया देन द मेजर कंसेप्ट इन द इन्वायरमेंट इज इको सिस्टम वॉट इज इको सिस्टम इट इज नथिंग बट द सेल्फ कंटेनिंग सिस्टम दैट दे आर कंपोज ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम एंड नॉन लिविंग इन्वायरमेंट वेयर कंटिन्यूस एक्सचेंज ऑफ मैटर एंड एनर्जी टेक्स प्लेस देन वट इज बायम दीज आर ऑल द लेवल्स ऑफ ऑर्गनाइजेशन और लेवल्स ऑफ ऑर्गनाइजेशन कंसिस्ट इन और इंक्लूड इन ए इंसेक्ट इकोलॉजी देन बायम द ग्रुप ग्रुपिंग ऑफ कम्युनिटीज दैट हैव सिमिलर स्ट्रक्चर कंपोज ऑफ इको सिस्टम ऑफ अ सिमिलर वेजिटेशन टाइप देन बायोटा फोना एंड फ्लोरा फोना मीन्स एनिमल्स एंड फ्लोरा मीन्स प्लांट्स ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर हैबिटेट्स आर टूगेदर कॉल्ड एज अ बायोटा देन वट इज बायोस्फेयर्स इट इज द लार्जेस्ट इको सिस्टम विच इंक्लूड्स ऑल द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम ऑन द अर्थ इंटरेक्टिंग विथ फिजिकल इन्वायरमेंट्स देन वट इज एक्टोन सम ऑफ द कम्युनिटीज विच आर कंसिडर टू बी ट्रांजिशनल बिटवीन द टू बायम्स कॉल्ड एज एक्टोन वट इज इनिकोलाइंस an animal lives in the habitat of another one with sharing its foods called as inequalines what is forage the it is a commensalistic commensalistic relationship among the organism in which one kind of organism attack to another thereby gain up mode of transportation these are all the concepts which is related to the uh, insect ecology or simply ecology then uh, in ecology there is one major concept the concept is environment the now uh, what is environment the environment entomologically means surroundings environment is a complex of living and non living factor which surrounds on organisms okay so let us see which are the different components of the environments and how these that components which influence on the abundance of the insect population an environment is anything which is surrounding to individual that may influence it change and survive and multiply on the particular organism in that particular environment okay uh, these are the different uh, uh, components of the environment that components that influence on the insect population that fluctuate the insect population in a different types of environment there are the uh, two factors the first one is the abiotic factors or it means that abiotic components second one is biotic factor it means the biotic components biotic factor consists of physical uh, or uh, it may be also called as physical non living or density independent factor and biotic factor is also called as living factor or density dependent factor in a biotic factor there are the climatic and topographic factor in climatic temperature rainfall humidity air current light atmospheric pressure are the climatic factor include in a biotic factor then topographic factor mountains sea ocean river and soils then if you see in a biotic factor there are the three major factors the first one is food second one is competition and third one is the natural enemies then let us see one by one the first one is a biotic factor in that the first one is temperature uh, uh, in a temperature generally the insects uh, are the poikilothermic poikilothermic it means that uh, they do not have a mechanism to regulate their body temperature likewise they uh i think a uh, warm blooded animal because the insect are the cold blooded animal when those have a cold cold blooded animal they do not have a mechanism to change their body temperature or regulate their body temperature according to the surrounding environment hence known as a poikilothermic insect but insect can serve at a specific temperature or specific optimum range of temperature the upper lethal limit is 40 to 50 degree centigrade and the lower lethal limit is uh, below freezing point 
uh, in case of stored in paste some of the insect uh, can survive up to the 60 degree centigrade and uh, in below freezing point if you see the example the snow flea that is found in a uh, himalaya region uh, that uh, insect it is a uh, survive in a below freezing point also then at a low temperature in or in case of winter insect takes some more days to complete their stage or life stages like a larva pupa and adult commonly in a winter season they undergo in a hibernation and that hibernation is nothing but the one of the diapause stage and in high temperature uh, especially in summer it takes that a uh, uh, less than to complete their stage uh, hence they goes into the estivation in summers it means that eggs it is the one of the life stage of the insect that goes into the estivation in a summer condition and larva and pupa are the stages of the insect that hibernate in the winter condition these are the temperature effect or temperature influence on their uh, development or development their life cycle okay then how the temperature is affect on the insect population the temperature effect on fecundity migration and rate of development of the insects if you see the some of the examples here uh, in case of grasshopper grasshopper lays 20 to 30 times more eggs at 30, 20, 32 degrees centigrade compared to the 22 degrees centigrade it is the uh, these are the some of the examples uh, in which the you can see the how the temperature range is affect on the development or fecundity or migration of the insects okay then next factor is rainfall if you see in rainfall uh, in heavy rainfall has an adverse effect on the small insect like aphidogerstil trees white fly mealybug scale insect and a DBM or a, any leaf or leaf miner. These are some of the insects, very minute size insects, and it is congregate on the uh, uh, plant parts. If uh, in case of heavy rains, they can wash out from that plant and kill in the flooded soils. Hence, the heavy rainfall is affect on their uh, we can say that the uh, death rate or death. Uh, rainfall also affect on the abundance of the insects. Rainfall is essential for adult emergence of the cutworms and red hairy caterpillar. Uh, the rainfall is also responsible for the uh, their emergence in some of the insects. Then humidity or moisture. It is essential for physiological activity like a metabolic reaction and the transportation of the salt in the insects. Insects get die when water content increase or decrease. Term the lethal wetness, lethal wetness and lethal dryness. Moisture scarcity leads to the dehydration and death of the insects. High humidity causes development or encourage of disease causing the pathogen on insect called as fungi. If you see the example, uh, the white hylofungus Vertusilum lecani on coffee green scales requires a high relative humidity for multiplication and spread. Okay. Uh, then uh, termites prefer high humidity. 90 to 95% relative humidity is required for termites for their emergence. Humidity also effect on the fecundity and normal development of the insect. If you see the, some of the examples in case of locust, locust does not, does not lay the eggs if there is no sufficient moisture. This is the uh, effect of moisture or effect of humidity on the development of the insects. Next one is the air current or wind. Uh, the disposal of insect to get an extent depends upon the winds. It interferes with feeding, mating, and OE position of the insect. It means that the air current directly affects on their feeding, mating, and OE position. Many insects fly with the air current and get transfers from one place to another place. Many of them die by falling in river or sea. Many insects are known to spread in new countries through air currents. Means that also affect on the transportation or migration. A large number of aphids has been found after the strong wind and many of them destroy by falling in the sea and rivers. Thus, air currents play important role in the natural control of insect also. Then, uh, light. Uh, if you see the light, uh, how the light is affect on the, uh, uh, on the insects. The light plays an important role in the growth, development and survival of the insects. Uh, in some of the insect, uh, some of the insects are short day species and some of the insects are long day species. Means so some of the insects require a high light or high sunlight and some of the insects require less sunlight. Short day species, in case of short day species, mulberry silk moth and in, in case of long day species, pink bollum are the examples of the short day and long day species. Uh, 
depending upon the light the some of the insect is active in a night condition that insect called as nocturnal insects and some of the insect is active during in a day condition called as a diurnal insects and some of the insect active during in a dawn and dusk condition called as a crepuscular conditions these are some of the conditions created in a insects uh, if you see the some of the examples uh, fruit flies lays eggs in a light lepidopterans like a cotton bolum red hair caterpillar we put it in a dark it means that darkness and light it's both are required for the development of insects next one is the atmospheric pressure the insects are more affected in a low atmospheric pressure than in the high atmospheric pressure it means insect require require a uh, near about moderate uh, atmospheric pressure the phototropic insect are more active during period of high atmospheric pressure the activities of some insects are directly influenced by the pressures for example due to the low atmospheric pressure a chance of rain increases resulting in the emergence of the ants and then next one is the topographic factors of the abiotic environments a major topographic factors like a mountains river sea are act as a physical barriers to the spread of the insect it means that the topographic factor affect on the migration of the insects lake and ponds affect the nature of the insects of that region for example if you see the water current water current in that water current the larva of the mosquito and the beetles are able to live only in the standing water but and running water is prefer by a dragon fly and caddis fly uh, and then a soil how the soil is affect on the insect development wire worm multiplies in a heavy clay with a poor drainage whereas termites white grubs and cut worms prefer a light loamy soil these are the different bi abiotic factors that affect on the insect migration development and their uh, rate of or speed of development then next one is the biotic factor also called as density dependent factors in that the first one is the food also called as nutritional factors uh, generally insects are heterotrophic because they hence they cannot synthesize their own food they depends on plants for their food okay uh, the quantity and quality of the food or nutrition plays the important role in the survival longevity distribution reproduction and speed of development of the insects okay means how the food is affect on the insect population is affect on their survival rate their longevity their distribution and their reproduction and speed of development how the quantity and quality of food the quantity of food short supply of the food cause a intra specific and inter specific competition it means that if the shortage of food is occurs the competition is occurs then what is quality of foods this depends on nutritional availability of the plants for example crop varieties or species differs in the nutritional status which affect on the insects okay then next factor or next biotic factor is competition insect species are likely to competing with one another or with members of the another species for limited resources like a food mates and suitable site of oe position preparation then competition is occurs such competition operate whenever the population is increasing and the resources are limited okay it means that when the competition is occurs when the competition is happens at that time the population of the certain organism is increasing day by day and the resources are limited then the competition is occurs but how the insect or for what purpose the insect is compete to each other for food mates and suitable site for oe position preparation let us see the types of competition the first one is the intra specific competition when the members of the population of the same species compete for limited resources for example the cannibalism in american bolum what is cannibalism it is nothing but the phenomena where the insect feeds on the individual of the same species when crowding it occurs it means that when the shortage of foods is occurs the competition is occurs but this competition when occurs in the same species on the individuals at that time cannibalism is occurs hence the cannibalism is the best examples of the inter specific competition then cannibalism in a later stage grubs of chrysopids the chrysopids it means that the chrysoperla it means the common name is greenless wing it is a beneficial insect in that cannibalism is also occurs crowding in aphids result in the alert form for migration migration in case of aphids is occurs due to the intra specific competition 
reduction in fecundity in a rice weevil during the overcrowding and crowding in honey bees leads to the swarming these are some of the intraspecific competitions examples uh, in this picture you can see the first both larvae are the uh, lady bird beetle larvae that larvae compete uh, for to each other for their food it means that uh, the larvae it is feed on the same individuals then in second picture uh, crowding in case of male aphid for their migration male aphid have a wing or in alert form when the crowding is occurs they migrate from one place to another place in third picture you, you can see the in rice we will here the fecundity rate is reduced why because the shortage of the food is occurs and in last picture the swarming swarming uh, means a migration of the colony of the honey bee from one place to another place due to the uh, some of the uh, unfavorable climatic conditions this condition create in a honey bees and then inter specific competitions this is the competition occurs between the members of the two or more species two or more competing species with identical requirements cannot coexist in a same place for a longer time the elimination of one species by the another as a result of inter specific competition this concept is given by the scientist gf gauze hence this concept known as a gauze hypothesis or gauze principles inter specific competition in that competition uh, the colonization and aggregation is uh, happens or occurs what is colonization the grouping of free living and individuals to form a colonies to have a better protection from the natural enemies or the environmental condition for the improved utilization of food then aggregation the tendency of the congregating in a large number of then normal distribution for mating and food uh, for example accidental introduction of oriental fruit fly into the hawaii limited by the mediterranean fruit fly and the second example trichogramma and chrysopella compete for helicorpa eggs in a cotton this is the inter specific competition if you see the last example trichogramma and chrysopella trichogramma it is a parasitoids and chrysopella it is a predators both are helpful insect that they, they compete for which purpose for a, for their egg laying for their oe position where in case of helicorpa eggs this is the inter specific competition and then last one is the natural enemies every insect has a number of natural enemies in their nature uh, for example parasitic insects predatory insects mites spider birds mammals reptiles fishes and diseases causing fungi bacteria viruses these are some of the natural enemies which affect on the insect populations uh, what is uh, mean by parasitisms the association of the parasites and their host is called as the parasitism how these natural enemies helps in the environment Uh, they keep the insect population in a check and thus natural balance within the limits is almost always maintained it means that the natural enemies helps for balance of nature in a environment the first natural enemy is predator what is predator predator means are those free living organism that feed on the living insects and consume more than one individual during their life span called as a predator it means that predator are those organism that directly consume their target host a target insect and it require more than two host for com to complete their life cycle for example ladybird beetle it feed on a aphids and leaf hoppers greenless wing it feed on a aphids and other sucking pest mantid dragon fly and seedful fly also feed on a different insects these are different predators that they directly consume their target insects uh, in the future you can see the first picture shows the mantid feeds on the grasshoppers second the seed fly feed on a another uh, insects then uh, ladybird beetle uh, adult is feeds on the aphids and then uh, this is the larva of the ladybird beetle which feeds on a uh, mealybugs these are the different examples of the predators that affect the insect populations uh, this is the predatory bugs that predatory bugs it feed on the larva then in second picture if you see the defa apidiora defa apidiora it is one of the mostly used predator against the sugarcane woolly aphids and the next natural enemy is parasitoids an insects parasites of arthropod that is parasitic in its immature stage killing the host in the process of development and adult are free living the major parasitoids are as follows it means that what is predator of parasitoids parasitoid simply it is the organism it is in, uh, parasitic in its immature stages and adult are free living it means that the adult of the parasitoids does not feed on the target insect only larva or only young one stage of that parasitoid feeds on the target insects for example trichogramma 
ट्राइकोकलमाइड इज एक पैरासिटाइड दैट फीड्स ऑन दी शुगर कैन बोरस एंड कॉटन बोलवम्स इट मीन्स दैट द अडल्ट ऑफ द ट्राइकोकलमा ले देयर एग्स इन साइड द एग्स ऑफ शुगर कैन बोर एंड कॉटन बोलोम्स एंड आफ्टर द हैचिंग ऑफ द एग्स ऑफ ट्राइकोग्रामा द ट्राइकोग्रामा लार्वा फीड ऑन दी दैट एग्स पोर्शन ऑफ द शुगर कैन बोरस एंड कॉटन बोलोम्स देन एपेंडेलिस प्लेविस इट इज ए लार्वल पैरासिटेट्स दिस लार्वल पैरासिटेट फीड्स ऑन दी अदर लार्वा देन इपेरी कैन ए मेलोनुका इट इज अ निम्फल पैरासिटेट्स दैट फीड्स ऑन दी निम्स ऑफ शुगर कैन पायरेला कैपिडोसोमा कोइलरी एंड चिलोनल ब्लैक बर्नी आर द लार्वल एग एंड लार्वल पैरासिटेट्स द फीड ऑन द पोटैटो ट्यूबर मॉथ्स देन नेक्स्ट वन इज पैथोजेंस दिस इज कॉजिंग माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म कॉल्ड एज पैथोजेंस सम ऑफ द पैथोजेंस आर हार्मफुल सम ऑफ द आर बेनिफिशियल दोज आर बेनिफिशियल पैथोजेंस दैट इज यूटिलाइज इन ए बायोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल सर्ट ऑफ फंजाई बैक्टेरिया वायरसेस कॉल डिस इज कॉज डिस इज इन ए मेनी इंसेक्ट्स एंड रिड्यूस देयर पॉपुलेशन इन द नेचर द इंपॉर्टेंट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर एज फॉलोज इन द एट यू सी इन फंजाय वर्टिसम लेके बिबेरिया बेस एन एंड मेट्राइज एंड सोपली दीज आर दिस मोस्टली यूज बेनिफिशियल फंजाय दैट फंजाय कॉल्ड दे एंटोमो पैथोजेनिक फंजाय Entomo pathogenic fungi means are those fungi which cause the disease in a insect and finally they kill them. Called as a uh, entomo pathogenic fungi. The variety name like any it is entomo pathogenic fungi for or to cause the disease in a mealybugs and aphids. Beaver aphids are not to cause the disease in lepidopteran larva. Metarrhiza and sopli to cause the disease in a coconut rhinoceros beetle and white grub. Then, if you see in bacteria, the Bacillus thuringiensis, it is mostly used bacteria, simply called as Bt, and it is effective against the Lepidopteran larva. Then, next one is the Bacillus papillae. The Bacillus papillae is attacking on the beetles, or it is cause the disease in a beetles. Then, if you see in virus, the NPV and GV virus are most uh, suitable for the control of the insect pests. NPV means a nuclear polyhedrosis virus, and GV means a granulosis virus. Then first one is a uh, HANPV. This HANPV they mostly use against the American bollworm, and SLNPV mostly use against the Sporophyta littora. These are the virus, and uh, these are the some of the other natural enemies other than the predator parasites and the pathogens. Uh, some of the um, frogs, toads, reptiles, birds, rats, bears, snakes, and lizards are also check the population of the harmful insect. in the nature and maintain the balance of nature also then uh, these are the some of these are uh, all the uh, different biotic and abiotic components that affect on the insect population then let us see uh, now uh, what is ecosystem because in environment the major concept is ecosystem there are the different types of the ecosystem found in case of environment it may be a natural ecosystem it may be artificial ecosystem so let us see what is mean by ecosystem simply uh, ecosystem it is a self containing system they are composed of living organisms and the non living environment where continuous exchange of the matter and energy takes place okay then if you see the types of ecosystem uh, there are the two major types the first one is the natural ecosystem and second one is the artificial ecosystem in case of a natural ecosystem also again subdivided into two types terrestrial ecosystem and aquatic ecosystem in case of terrestrial forest grassland and deserts and in case of aquatic ecosystem the fresh water and marine ecosystem in case of fresh water lentic and lotic system is also is there then uh, this is the which are showing the types of ecosystem found in environment if you see the artificial or man-made system in case of artificial the artificial aquatic system is called as aquarium and now the major concept is artificial terrestrial system called as crop field and the now in insect ecology the crop field is the major unit of a integrated pest management here the crop field the system of the crop field is called as a agro ecosystem and the agro ecosystem it is nothing but the artificial terrestrial ecosystem okay then now uh if you see how the energy is transferred from one organism to the another organism in case of ecosystem by two ways 
फर्स्ट वन इज द फूड चेन एंड सेकंड वन इज द फूड वेब सो लेट अस सी व्हाट इज मीन बाय फूड चेन अ फूड चेन इज अ लीनियर सीक्वेंस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म थ्रू व्हिच न्यूट्रिएंट एंड एनर्जी पास एज अ वन ऑर्गेनिज्म इट अनदर इन अ फूड चेन ईच ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑक्युपाइज अ डिफरेंट ट्रॉपिक लेवल डिफाइंड बाय द हाउ मेनी एनर्जी ट्रांसफर सेपरेट इट फ्रॉम द बेसिक इनपुट टू द चेन इट मींस दैट द एनर्जी ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम वन ऑर्गेनिज्म टू द अनदर ऑर्गेनिज्म इट मींस दैट इट शोस द ट्रॉपिक लेवल that convert or that transfer the energy from one level to the another level uh, then uh, there uh, this is the tropic level but before that uh, there are the number of the food chains it is interlocking to each other uh, in a food web okay this picture showing a tropic level in the tropic level uh, you just see uh, the primary producers the primary consumers secondary consumers tertiary consumers then quaternary consumers and finally are the decomposers these are the all the tropic levels found in a ecosystem that transfer the energy from one tropic level to the another tropic level uh, this is the simple example of the food chain which shows how the energy is transfer here you can see how the energy is transfer in tropic level here in tropic level consist of a producer consumers and decomposers producer simply it is a plant what is consumers consumers it may be primary secondary tertiary and quaternary consumers and final organisms present in the uh, this tropic level is a decomposers and the decomposers in fungi bacteria and viruses or all uh, other microorganisms and in a tropic level uh, some of the organism it may be herbivorous carnivorous omnivorous scavengers and detritivorous and decomposers so uh, that organism which uh, herbivorous means that uh, herbivores is nothing but the uh, producers carnivores means that uh, feed on a meat omnivores that feed on both plant and meat scavengers means uh, it, it is nothing but the uh, carcasses and detritivores it means that the debris which feed on the debris and decomposers it mean feed on a, all the dead material okay the now the major concept in the insect ecology is agro ecosystem because uh, simply the insect the definition of the insect ecology is uh, is that it is the simple relationship between the insect and their environment and environment consist of the ecosystem and in ecosystem the major ecosystem is the agro ecosystem all right uh, then now the what is agro ecosystem it nothing but the agriculture plus ecosystem called as the agro ecosystem the what is the agro ecosystem any ecosystem largely created and maintained to satisfy human wants or need called as the agro ecosystem it is not a natural ecosystem but it is a man made agro ecosystem is the basic unit of the pest management and it is a branch of applied ecology uh, what is the things included in the agro ecosystem a typical agro system is composed of the more or less uniform crop plant population weed communities animal communities including uh, insects macrobiotic communities and the physical environment to react with these are all the concept it is include in the agro ecosystem an agro ecosystem is nothing but the basic unit of the integrated pest management uh, this diagram or picture showing the which are the different components present in the agroeco system okay thank you